cucumbers. You want them kind of straight, but you also want them kind of plump so that you can get some good pickles out of it. Garlic. You can pick up some fresh dill or get dill, the dry dill weed. I tend to use dill weed. I am going to pick up some fresh dill today though. Now let's go make some pickles. Okay, so I bought all the ingredients that I needed for making pickles and I give you options. You can cut your pickles with a knife or you can go to Kandu and get you slicers. That's a mini one. This is a more full size one. The size is set. We're going to see how these slice to see if we like what size they come up with. But for my basic pickling, I use black pepper, salt, sugar, not that much sugar, but a little bit of sugar, vinegar, water, and the variation comes with the debate between dill weed and fresh dill. I like dill weed. Oh, and fresh garlic. No garlic paste, garlic. Garlic, garlic, garlic. <laughs> and yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, so I've got my cucumbers and I'm going to see what these these slices look like because if they don't look good Oh, this thing is tiny? Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> this thing makes paper thin slices. I can't do that for pickles. That's a bit better. So, there's a good bit of thickness here. Those will make good sandwich pickles. So the trick is, you slice it at an angle. That way you get those nice long cuts. And see as it goes, you get those beautiful long pieces that you can put on sandwiches or just eat by themselves. And you just enjoy the process without cutting your fingers. The important note, if you're using a slicer, watch your fingers because they will be um, cut up if you don't watch it. So I'm using a little bit over a 500 milliliter jar. And as you cut the pickles, you just put them in the jar. Make sure that you have enough space. And I'm going to do a quick mix of pickles and that's the version I use with dill weed. The other version is more of the sitting type. That's with the fresh dill because it needs time to open up. But I think about two cucumbers per bottle is good. I found some pretty good sized cucumbers. So, I'm going to keep cut, cut, cutting away. Now, if you have a fast cutting hand, definitely feel free to do that if you don't like slicers and you like your knives. I like my knives, but not for this purpose. My knives are for making chicken and dumplings. My slicers are for making pickles. <laughs> And see you got that nice large batch to put in there two pickles per jar is enough if you want to make spears you can I haven't done pickle spear I haven't done cucumber spears yet because I typically don't eat them necessarily but you shake the glass around to make sure you can get some space Is it a lot of cucumbers to make pickles from? 
Yes, and that's what you want so that you can have a beautiful, beautiful batch. The bottles are also from Can Do. I thought I needed that bowl, but I don't. And we're just going to slice these until we get a nice two batches of cucumbers ready for pickling. Ooh, I'm doing good today. I haven't cut my finger yet. <laughs> my wife just looked at me like the day's not over. <laughs> If you get them in just right, you can pack them in tight, but don't pack them in too tight because you got to get the brine in there to make sure that it will give you all the goodness to every pickle. And if you're not looking to do quick pickling, it's fine to just let the brine cool after you make it and just sit back, put it in the refrigerator and walk away for a couple days. <laughs> now, now. Ooh, I may only be able to do one and a half cucumbers for this second one because these are the larger pickles. This is just fun to me. Then I'll teach you how to make the brine. Okay, so now we're going to make the brine. For this you need vinegar. I use simple grain vinegar for my brine. For one batch, we're going to do 250 milliliters. I'm doing two different styles, so save half of that. And it's one to one with water and vinegar. So two fifty, two fifty. And then the real fun begins. So you put maybe let me turn this a little bit so you can see the pot. Alright, so sugar is a minimal thing. I'm going to put maybe this little chunk in. Not even that full chunk. Now I'll put that full chunk in. From the websites I've learned it from, you use about a teaspoon of sugar to about a tablespoon of salt. For me, it's definitely salt to taste. Mm, yeah, there we go. After that, you need black pepper. Black pepper corns to be precise. She really loves my pickles. I do a good amount of black pepper because, frankly, it goes quite well for the pickles to help spread all the goodness inside. And then I differ from the recommendations of some of the websites. Like when I use dill weed, the dry dill, I go ahead and put it in now because when I cook the brine and you put in, you definitely put in dill to taste. Like, I put in a pretty good amount of dill because dill pickles, come on, the main word in there. And the beautiful part, the very, very beautiful part is garlic. Now, for this batch of this small batch, I'm going to use 
three cloves of garlic. And the way you use garlic, I'm going to trade this one out. You get pretty good size of garlic. If you don't know how to peel garlic, that's fine. I have nails, so I use those. There is another more fun way. You go ahead and peel that skin away. Peel the cover. And you want the garlic to be whole. That way you can eat it as pickled garlic or just take it out and use it for something else later. So you can peel it. Take a knife, crush it just a little bit, just a little bit. If you want, you can cut it just a little bit so that the juices come out. Drop that in the pot. And if you're breaking garlic for the first time to remove the shell, you also just smash and you've created your crack in the peel to make sure you can take it off. There's also garlic peelers, but why? Just cut the garlic. Cut the end. Peel. Ta-da! Yes, one moment. Uh, 220. Yeah, regular con 215, 220. I'm still at work. Crush the garlic 230. 230 during quarantine time. Alright, now, you have all your ingredients in. I'm using a gas cone though. You just turn that bad boy on. Make sure your ingredients can fire up. Let it get to a boil and stay at a boil for about maybe five minutes or so. And at that point, we have a good mix going to use for the brine. You can either let the brine cool and pour it over the cucumbers to make your pickles. That's more for the slow pickle. For the fast pickle, you let it cool for maybe two minutes or long enough to touch the pot and you pour it over the pickles and in maybe 10-15 minutes because of the thinness if it's a thin pickle they will pickle really fast so that's fast pickling for slow pickling you let it cool you put the fresh dill in it while it's cooking just a little bit only a little bit at the end or you put the dill in the jar and then you pour the brine over and as it sits in the refrigerator and the deal will open up and spread to all the cucumbers. So I'll show you the brine being poured in a moment. Don't be afraid to taste your brine. And remember to mix your salt and sugar while it's cooking so that it dissolves all the way. I am looking forward to this. It's about to come to a boil now. And I'll let you see the pouring later and then we'll Okay, the brine is done. And I will tell you, folks will tell you to um leave like an inch of space on top to make sure pickles are have enough room to breathe. I reject that thought pattern. You just pour that on in. Make sure you add your garlic and peppercorns. And there is way more brine than there is space. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill the other one. So, hopefully we can get it done with 
Peppercorns on top. And it looks like I gotta make some more brine. But I love that pickle. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm bombing, right? I feel like I'm sort of bomb. Here you go, bomb. Okay, here we go. Hey, baby. I'll be like, dang it. I need to make a po' boy. I don't have pickles. Where's my pickles? Can you make some? And he like make them. Um, he can make a quick, quick bag. Mm. And maybe so good. So, these are your pickles. And they go into my house. I'm gonna make a little bit more brine to top this one off. But when you're finished, you make sure those joints can move just a little bit more. Like, I'm just going to put one garlic in that one. You seal it up. Turn it upside down so the air can move and the brine can get through. And that's a jar of pickles. You just let those sit as long as you want and they will be good to go for a while.